if i ask you what are the different stages in life cycle of data then you can say data creation data storage data analysis data archiving and if needed data deletion or data purge now there are some confusions around how big data is related to data science or how big data is related to data analytics the reason for these confusions are there are many tools and techniques which are common between these so big data space also few things are used data science space also same things are used so where is the difference where is the intersection i am going to give you example of my own career i am going to tell you some stories from my own career and try to make you understand how these things are interconnected and how these things are different how under the data umbrella things have moved in last 10 years and where are we moving in the data umbrella now so let me take you to the whiteboard and make these concepts absolutely clear with real world example let's go and see guys so guys i'll tell you how big data and data science are related right first of all we need to understand the definition of big data so the difference between big data and data science the only one point that you need to understand is when we talk of big data we talk of data okay and when we talk of data science we talk of science or you can say analysis or you can say techniques okay so i will write here science or techniques so in big data we are talking about physical data in data science we are talking about set of techniques or a scientific approach fine now what is big data and how did this term emerge so big data if somebody asks you the very simple definition of big data is data data that cannot be handled by data that cannot be handled by traditional data handling tools and techniques okay handled by traditional approach you can say traditional approach now what is the traditional approach guys some of you may be new to the industry or some of you may be students or some of you may not know what is the traditional approach so let me tell you i will tell you what what used to happen traditionally okay so in 2011 guys when i started my career right and we are here at 2022 now so here you will see that i started my career in business intelligence okay now what is business intelligence guys some of you who would be knowing this is making sense of data to use it in the best possible way so you have the data you want to use the data to help your business grow that is everything that you do under business intelligence okay now from the business intelligence a concept of data warehouse or dwh is there what is data warehouse data warehouse is nothing but a store where you keep your historical data why do you want to keep your historical data at one place because it can answer many of your questions for example what was the sales between 1995 to 2000 what was the sales between 2005 to 2010 what was the revenue like what was the discount like all those answers you want to get hence you want to store all your data in a warehouse call it data warehouse what is the primary purpose of this the primary purpose of data warehouse is using the historical data businesses can make strategies strategies okay now talking of data warehouse there are two more concepts you should know okay one is known as oltp standing for online transaction processing system and other is known as olap known as online analytics processing okay so what is difference between oltp and olap system guys let's try to understand suppose you go to flipkart okay you go to flipkart and then you do a shopping you purchase something so immediately how much you have to pay that amount should be calculated if there is any delivery charges that number should be calculated and that amount should be displayed to you right so there is a database interaction somebody you know some mechanism or some program is hitting the database bringing in the delivery charge 
and then showing you how much you have to pay, right? All these things, which is transactional, which is needed in instance, you know, a matter of milliseconds, all these database interaction where you need to store something quickly, fetch something quickly for transactional purposes, all that kind of data is stored in something known as online transaction processing system. Okay. But what is OLAP? OLAP is for more of analysis purpose, which means you do not want to use OLAP for day to day transaction or getting some, uh, you know, information which you want on daily basis, those kind of things. What you want OLAP to use for? You want OLAP to answer your business questions or you want OLAP to use your uh, data warehouse kind of setting, right? Where it can tell you what should be the strategy, what should be the approach, all those questions it can answer you. Now, why I'm telling you about OLTP and OLAP is both these systems previously before the uh, before this term of big data was not coined in the market right both these were sitting in some kind of database system that can be a microsoft sql server that can be a oracle machine or oracle server that can be a teradata machine or different kind of database softwares or database platforms you can say now one thing you need to understand here guys all these are expensive okay so if your data is increasing if you want to store more data in oltp and olp systems then you need to purchase on more hardwares and you need to purchase on more um, resources to maintain your data and all these things will include money okay and that is where the concept of something known as big data came okay big data came some around 10 years back this concept of big data came why big data became so famous guys two things you have to understand here is big data by definition if you go right by definition all of you know i don't need to go in much detail right volume of data is high variety of data is more structured unstructured semi-structured and velocity at which data is coming is high if a data possesses all this there are other b's also like veracity and value people are talking now but let us focus on these three volume variety and velocity if you have these three things you tell it big data now the question comes where do you store big data so all of you have heard of something known as hadoop systems which supports storage of big data and that is not enough for people to move from traditional systems to hadoop what forced people to move is hadoop is very very cheap okay this is an open source and if you want to increase your you know uh, capacity of hadoop nodes then it will work on a commercial, uh, you know, economical hardware, not very expensive hardware you need for this. That is the reason traditional way of storing data using in business intelligence, using your data warehouse, creating separate OLTP system, OLAP system and paying huge money to these guys, right? Most businesses thought, hey, let's go ahead and push our data in Haroop systems so that we can store more data at a low cost and it is fast also we can process more data at low cost now all these things that i'm uh, telling you till now comes under data generation okay data generation and data storage but we do not want to store data for nothing right we want to analyze this data at the same time if you want to analyze the data if you want to make sense of the data if you want to process the data what you need guys you need to have data analysis and data science into picture data science or data analysis okay now the reason for confusion between how big data is related to data science is for example if i take example of one one uh, tool that runs on top of Hadoop, spark right so spark is a tool which data scientists are also using and big data engineers are also using big data engineers need to collect data and store it in hive tables or Hadoop platforms Data science also needs to maybe fetch data or maybe do some basic ML task using Spark ML. So what you should not confuse is data science is more about science and techniques to analyze the data. Okay. And big data is more about data. And if you include tools and techniques around big data, it is more about how do you store and process the data. That's all. It is not about how do you analyze the data, how do you do modeling on that, how do you run data science application on that, no. 
every time you say big data you are talking about data every time you say big data tools and technologies you are talking about hadoop spark hive all those things right and when you say data science it is it is one step ahead of storing and processing data okay having said that another thing you need to understand here is if your data is sitting in hdfs right which most of your data is sitting in big data hdfs is nothing but haroop distributed file system okay if your data is sitting in hdfs then you need for any kind of analysis you want to do you have to fetch data from hdfs right hdfs data has to come out in your python environment or in your r environment or wherever you are doing the analysis right this data has to come from hadoop system to your python or r and that is where you will see lot of intersection between the job roles of data science and data engineers that is the main reason why those intersections are coming so all in all what you need to understand is big data is a set of tools and technique big data when you say big data it's about data tools and techniques around it some of them will intersect with tools and techniques in data science and if you talk of data analysis you already know right any kind of analysis you do on data is data analysis itself okay so that was about this video guys i hope you understood the concept of business intelligence data warehouse oltp olap volume variety velocity how hadoop came how data was stored in hdfs and why there is so much of intersection between what we do now and what was done traditionally okay so give me a thumbs up if you like this video guys and let me know your questions around this i will see you all in the next video wherever you are stay safe and take care